Wonderful. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a great pleasure to have you here in our wonderful trading spotlight session of Admiral Markets. I'm feeling honored and so pleasure that you here that you take your time for me as a small little bit trader and an uh, educator for you and that I have the honor to tell you some things about our special topic for today. Hi Franjo, I all of you they take your time for me and for us and Admiral Markets this day. Thank you, thank you very much for spending your lifetime with me. I want to do all my, I want to give you all my efforts that you uh, have a valuable time for the next round 45 minutes. Our special topic this afternoon is called indicators and oscillators. A blessing or a curse? What do you think? And let me tell you something. There is a really important reason that you stay at this webinar till the end because we have a big, big surprise for you at the end. And should I forget it, please give me a short hint because, you know, I'm talking so many things because I want to share my experience with you and I have so many things to talk to you. It's a little bit exciting. And uh, Vincenzo, you are my special one in my webinar. If uh, you see, I will forget it. Give me a hint, bark to me <laughs> and say you have forgotten something. And uh, guys, if you're watching this uh, by uh, YouTube a little bit later, we, are, would, we, are, we would be really happy if you give us a like, uh, if you share it, if you have any comments to that. Uh, if you have any wishes or, or something else, type it below this video and give us the chance to uh, be and getting better and better for you. So welcome again to our webinar, Indicators and Oscillators, a Blessing or a Curse. What's on our agenda this afternoon? Okay, first of all, uh, let's have a look in the, in the dictionary. What are indicators and oscillators? And when should you use each of them or maybe both? How can they be used together effectively? Is there anyhow a chance to do that? Is it, is it uh, valuable? Is it, uh, it makes sense to do that? And what are the dangers of relying on these and trading strategies using indicators or, and oscillators? Really? That's an interesting topic. We should talk about that, I guess. Okay, but first of all, uh, that's me. That's not very interesting. That's the most important, guys. That's about Admiral Markets. You know, it's a Forex broker and CFD broker with over 8,000 uh, financial instruments. Wonderful, amazing guys, men and girls working there. I know a couple of them and I can promise you all of them. They are highly motivated to lead you to success. They are highly motivated to make you successful in trading. And I, it's a great honor for me to work with such amazing guys there. So we have, offer, Admiral has offices in 20 plus countries in global expertise with local support. We are licensed as FCA, EFSA, SISEC and ASEC and competitive spreads, you know, typically 0.6 pips in Euro USD. 0.8 uh, 0.8 pips for the deck 30 for example and the world's most popular software so uh, guys let's have a look what are indicators and guys the chat is open if you have any questions let me know if you have any comments let me know uh, i want that you know this is your session this is your webinar we all, all of us, we are doing that, that you can learn as much, as much as possible. So everything what we would do and we want is that you become successful and you have the chance and you have the right to get money from the market and to change your life. If you make it in a right way, guys, and if you make it really, really good, I promise you, you have the big, big chance to change your life and to help us to make the world to a better place. This is my mission and this is my vision. There's a little bit difference between vision and mission. I have the vision that everybody is able to become successful in trading. 
everybody, that's my vision, everybody has the right and the possibility or the opportunity to make trades, to make money in the market. And my mission is, because I know trading and personal development belongs together. And if you overcome that challenge, I promise you it will change your life. And it makes you to a better man, to a better husband, to a better girl, to a better woman, to a better wife, to a better human. And with that, we can change the world to a little bit better place. And this is my mission. My mission is to help you. This is my, this is my purpose of existence, guys, on this planet. I have a lot of experience in trading and I lost everything in my life. You can read my, my story of my life at, 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 at my markets. Maybe my colleague will share the link of that, uh, of this, of my uh, story of my life. Then you can see and you can read, I lost everything, but I found a way to overcome all the challenges and I found a way to become successful in trading. And this is what I want to share with you. And really, thank you. Thank you, CMF. Thank you very much. Here you have the link to uh, the story of my life. And this is the truth, the absolute truth. And so this is my mission, the purpose of my existence, that I can show you the way how you can overcome the challenge to become successful and to make your life to a better place and to change your life to a better way. It's amazing. I have a lot of examples in my own Dao Hao family. They changed their life with the whole family and everything was changed. It was absolutely amazing. So, and one of the parts is to talk about such really, really interesting things like what are indicators and oscillators and how we can use it. So maybe, let me tell you this, it's time for making notes. Take a pen, take a paper and write it down. Maybe yes, you have the slides. Maybe you can, you can have a look at in the in YouTube later, of course, but you know about your mind, it's always better. You let the energy running through your eyes, to your hands, to your fingers, write it down, your aha effects, see it again, it comes back to the eyes again, to your mirror neurons, and then you can remember, you can remind it a little bit better, and it goes deeper in your consciousness. That's really, really important. Okay, so time for making Notes. What are indicators? The dictionary guy says they can confirm if the market is trending or if the market is ranging. Indicators can also provide specific market information, such as when an asset is overbought or oversold in a range and due for a reversal. That means the directionary. So trading, same meaning. It shows you what you can see in the chart. And maybe you ask yourself, does Marcus using indicators? And I can give you an absolutely humble and truly answer. Yes, I do, but very less and very specifically. And I show you, I give you a short view into my very, very past and I show you a, sh a chart when I created this webinar, I found this in the deep arc, uh, the deep stock of my, of my notes and I was, I'm going crazy and I was so shocked when I, when I saw again, it's, it's like, uh, how should I say, it's like uh, a, a back look in the very, very bad past when I said to myself, oh my God, what was, what was I trading there? So, and I'll show you this picture a little bit later. So, and of course, it's, it's really valuable that you stay to the webinar till the end, because as I said, big surprise for you uh, from Admiral uh, Markets, of course. So, the dictionary says what it is, and in trading, maybe every kind, not maybe, that's sure, that's a fact, every kind of indicator shows 
basically what you can see in the chart. Let me tell you this very, very truth, guys. There is no indicator that will show you the future exactly like a holy grail or maybe like the, uh, the how should I say, the crystal ball. No indicator. You can, maybe you can cross us everything to each other. I, believe me, I did it. Really, I did it. I made experiences and I made experiments in my past. Uh, sometimes I, I thought I created a new, a completely new universe. So many things I shared, uh, I, I, ex, ex, um, I made experiences and so on, and experiments, of course. But at the end, nothing will show you the future in guarantee. Nothing. Every kind of indicator shows you, if you have experience, what you can see in the chart. And I will give you, of course, the proof of that. Indicators should show you where you are in the market. That's their task. That's the, that's, yes, that's the, that's the task what an indicator has to do. Mostly you will see if you are too high in a chart or in the price or too low. So, and I'm absolutely sure you know a lot of indicators by yourself. Uh, the most uh, known or the best known, the well-known indicators are the MACD. What is this? That's a nickname for moving average convergence divergence. SMA, slide um, um, moving average. SMA, slide, no, soft, no. S uh, um, similar, uh, yeah, no, not similar. Um, uh, I missed the word, I don't know, but I guess simple, yes. <laughs> what would I do without Vincenzo? Thank you very much, my best friend here. Simple moving average. And then EMA, expon exponential, exponential, yes. Uh, I know the only the German word, exponential, but it's almost the same word, moving average. It's a little bit different between simple and exponential. So, and of course, that's uh, the Bollinger Bands, Heikin Ashi. It's an interest uh, expression of the candles, but basically Heikin Ashi is a kind of indicator. So, of course, you have two candles. I will show you now. You have two candles. Uh, trend continuation or a balance candle. So Heikinashi rules the battlefield. Yes, of course. So this is one of my rules if you use um, the Heikinashi. So, but let's uh, have real life examples of indicators and let's have a look at this one. So I opened chart, this is DAX. I don't care about that. It's just only you can see some kinds of uh, indicators. So most of the times you can see here in your uh, meter trader, so you have a lot of indicators here. You see you have trend indicators, there are oscillators we're talking afterwards, but that's a trend, that's indicators. Indicators, most of the indicators, that is what the meaning, what that's a really meaning of an indicator. It's an indication of what you can see in the chart. And that time I, I realized that, I asked myself, what the heck? For what should I use indicators if I can see what they show me in the chart? For what should I use them? And that was the beginning of a new step of my trading career because I quit all indicators of, in my chart. So, and today I use really, really less of them. Uh, I never use this uh, moving or uh, averages, whether SMA or EMA, I don't care, because they are every kind of moving average as the, at the name, uh, it's meaning, it seems, it's a moving average. It's the average of the past. So maybe you have a 200 SMA or EMA like this one. This, the big one is the 200. The, this one here, if you can see my mouse, this is the 
100, this is the 50, 100, and this is the uh, 50, 100, Jesus Christ. 200, 100, 50, 20. That's moving average. What does it mean? It means it's the average of the past 200 periods. So, I, you can see you have rising prices. So, what should they show you? What should they show you? Okay, so they are rising up. Of course, you have rising prices. What should they do? What should they show to you others than sliding up? No, that's what's stupid to think you have a showing have a rising price and have a falling AMA. That's stupid. That's not the sense of this AMA or this is an indicator. So, and the smaller the number, the closer you are at the current price, because if you use a 50 or a 20 SMA or EMA, it means the average from the price. Be aware of that. From the price, the average of the price of the last 20 periods. That means you are really close to the current price. So maybe there's an unwritten rule in the market. If you have a price above the 200 SMA or EMA, you have to go always in the long position. And if you are below the 200 SMA or EMA, you have to go short. Okay, what does it mean? The 200 SMA means it's the average of the price of the last 200 candles or period. Okay, it's easy. It's a long-term indication. But be aware of that, guys. It shows you, it really shows you that it's the average of the past. Never for the future. Never. And if you, need, if you think you can cross them, maybe the 20 to the 50, and it's a signal to go long or to go short, it's okay. It's a strategy. Yes, of course. It's a really good working or well working strategy of course but forget it guys forget it that it means a 100 percent strategy of course that doesn't exist a 100 percent strategy of course not only certain moving average have reduced lag hull moving average <laughs> okay maybe that's a really good idea so but i guess you know what i mean please be aware of that guys no indicator will show you the future. It's just only an indication what you can see in the chart. And the most important information is, of course, the trend and the price. So, and maybe here you can see, this is a six sec indicator here on the, um, let me here uh, delete this one, then we can see the little bit better. So this is an indicator, this is a six sec indicator. It shows you if we have an uptrend or a downtrend, and maybe you can have Bollinger Bands. I will show you this one. So Bollinger Bands have as well moving averages. In the middle, it's the 20 moving average. And outside of that, it's the Bollinger Bands, it's the extension. It measures the volatility and the extensions of up and downs. So there are also strategy. You go long if you have a reversal on the lower Bollinger Band to go back to the medium and maybe to go up. And if you are on the upper side of the, average, of the Bollinger Band, you have good to go down. That's a strategy as well. And it's a really easy strategy, but it's not a 100% strategy. Please don't forget that. But at the end, what you can see, what is in fact in the end, let me show you. At the end, if you are at the lower side of the Bollinger Band, let me show you. Here maybe this one. If you're here at the... No, this is the wrong one. I want to do this one. What's happening? What's that here? I want to do this one. No, okay. I see. Okay, I see this series, series, shut up right now. 
So I want to make a circle here right now, but you can see here we are at the lower Bollinger Band, but here where we are. Should I tell you the secret? It's a correction, no more, no less. And you know, a trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break, guys. It's only a correction. And if you are at the in the upper Bollinger Band, you are in the move. Maybe you have a breakout or you are in the move. And if you have a step back to back to the lower side, it's just only a correction. Or if you get back to the medium, uh, to the moving average, it's just only a correction. So what should they show you others than this one? Either you are in the move, you get back to the medium, or you're in correction, you go deeper, you have a deep correction. For that, I don't know Bollinger Band. Of course not. So let's delete it again. And use maybe um, parabolic, whatever this means. So this is uh, the same. You show this parabolic, this uh, green, little bit soft green lights here, they show you the same. They show you the move if you are in the move or if you are in a correction, no more, no less. So give me one reason why I should use them. Okay, be honest, my private opinion, of course. But this is the real truth, guys. They always show you only one, one thing. Yes, they show you support and resist. And what does it mean? Only correction and a trend continuation. More, no, more, no more, and no less. So let's a little bit kind of indicators. Let's go on with our slides here. So what are oscillators? Next one on the list. Uh, Manfred, thank you very much for the explanation. It's a long time ago that I used that indicator, so sorry for that, that I missed sometimes the, the right words but thank you for your support. So what are oscillators? The dictionary says, an oscillator is a technical analysis indicator that varies over time within a band above or below a center line or between Z levels. Oscillators are used to discover short-term overbought or oversold condition, conditions. Which I like a little bit similar to the dictionary meaning of the indicators. It shows you a little bit, yes, support, resist, or uh, overbought, oversold. And oscillators is just almost the same. It's a, techn a technical analysis indicator to show you what you can see in the chart. And I bring you the promise, and I give you the, the I will show you. I will give you the proof that it is what is it what it's the meaning here. So, like indicators, they can show you where are you in the market. And you know, if you maybe you know my my webinars, um, I love to see where I am in the market. In my opinion, guys, it's always more important that you know where are you then how you can get into the market. Let's be honest to each other. The how is not really important. How? Push the button you are in. Or in a better way, you have your rules. You follow your rules, push the button you are in. The how is not important. The better way and the most important way is where are you in the market? For example, if you are in the movement, then you know afterwards, after every move, the next correction will come. So it makes no sense to go long or short if you're far away in the move. It makes no sense. But most of the guys, most of the traders are doing that. Why? They're looking for guarantees. They're looking for certainties. They want to have safety feeling. And they can see, oh, I'm in the move, the market is running, I have to run within. And that's the point. But they don't, but most of them, they forget that, that after every kind of movement, 
the next correction will come and then they're getting crying because oh the market always do this always the opposite direction i want to do and then i get out and then the market is going up again <laughs> that's trend no more no less guys so and um well-known oscillators are, for example, RSI, uh, Relative Strength Index, or CCI, I don't know the name of that, oh my God, the Momentum and the Stochastics. Let's have a look again, and uh, the oscillators. So on the lower side, you can see I use in my charts uh, the RSI, Relative Strength Index. That means that I have a look that I can see if I have a strong trend and you know the trend is the foundation of every kind of trading or if I have a soft or an average trend. So the best and this is the meaning of using the RSI um, community channel index. That's the CCI. Manfred, thank you. I know I could, uh, I could trust you. Community, Commodity Channel Index, whatever it means, I don't use it. But it had his, uh, it had his uh, rights to exist and I guess some people use it. But at the end of this webinar, I guess you have a little bit more insights and you can think about if you, don't, if you need such, such things. Okay, um, the RSI, I use it to figure out such uh, divergences. You can use the MACD as well. It means moving average convergence divergence. And one of the strongest, strongest signals is divergence. What is, what's the meaning of a divergence? A divergence means that you have a, that's, you have a, a divergence between the price and the strength of the trend. So, and very, very often you have um, a divergence on the lower side. So uh, let's see this one. I will show you. Look at this one. Connect the last lows to each other. For example, this one. And what, you, what do you have on the lower side? Look at this one. This is a clear, divergence. You have a higher high in the price, but a lower high in the RSI relative strength index. That means, okay, the last move to the high is not supporting by really strength. So that means this is a little, this is a divergence between the price and the strength. And that means it's a reversal signal after maybe not always, but with one of the highest probabilities, there is a strong signal that after a divergence, you have, you see uh, the reversal to the lower side, the market reversals to the, comp to the opposite direction. And look at this one, you have the next one. Uh, maybe you can extend this line here. Look at this one. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. So connect this highs and amazing. Now look at this one. Can you see it? You have higher high, but a lower high. And what happens in the past here? What happens afterwards? You can see after that, you have a really strong decrease to the lower side. And the same one on the other side, on the lower side, look at this one. I take this, Jesus Christ. Ah, there is a circle, oh my God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's interesting, <laughs> well, crazy. So connect the last lows to each other. This is a lower low and look this one. This is a higher low. And can you see the reaction of the market? It's amazing. Market goes up. Guys, believe me, it's not. If, it's of course not the holy grail, but it's a high probability 
if you can use it. And if you can use it for a strategy, maybe it's the beginning of a, maybe every little bit helps. Yes, of course, it's just a tool. Really, it's not the holy grail, it's not the crystal ball. It's just only a really good, well-helping tool that you can understand if the price is being strong or not. If the last low is supporting by the big money or not. And if you have a divergence on the upper or the lower side, you can see the last high, which is responsible for a divergence, or the last low, which is the, which is responsible for a last uh, for the divergence, is no more supporting by the smart money. Just only the, the dump money want, don't want to miss the trend. That means you have a divergence. Divergence misses the smart money. And this is the real meaning behind a divergence. And so you can use maybe the RSI. Oh, you can see the uh, oscillator. Let's see, uh, this is the CCI. Maybe let's using stochastics, for example. And you can see here, what does it mean for stochastic? So uh, let's show, stochastic means, look at this one, you have an overbought situation. Then you have an oversold situation. And maybe, maybe if you have such situations, you can see, okay, it's not a good, a good idea to go long there. It's stupid if you have an overbought, overbought situation that you go long there anymore. Or if you have an oversold situation that you want to go short there, it makes no sense. Attention, please. It's not a holy grail, it's not the crystal ball, it's only, only a helping tool. First of all, you have to figure out the trend. And either you use the RSI or maybe the stochastic. What do you feeling more comfortable? It's just a decision you have to make. But use it that you can see, oh, that you can see if it's the end of the movement or is it the end of the correction? And if you know my setup, trading, trend trading, without coming off the correction in direction of the trend, then you know how you can use these tools. If you have a divergence and if you are in the correction, it's a big, big signal to go in direction of your trend, to make your trend. Or if you use stochastic, for example, and you are in the correction and you have, maybe you want to go long and you are in the correction like this one. Look at this one. This is the correction. You see this one here, that point. Let me use, uh, let me use this. Uh, go on, here you go. Use this one. And you have this over, this now here, this oversold situation here. Okay then it's a really good idea to come out of the correction, to speculate, to make a trend continuation. But be attention, be aware of that. It doesn't mean that you will have a trend continuation because you see, you have here on the lower side, you have here the next one. So you can see it. that's the next overboard situation but you didn't have at that moment a trend continuation. So be aware of that is really, really difficult. And it's a big danger if you use it in the wrong way. So that was a little bit oscillators, but you see almost the same meaning of indicators. So when should you use each of them? The universe of indicators and oscillators is almost unlimited, guys. There are an ever, there's an unlimited universe of that. You can choose whatever you want. You have to choose wisely which one is the most useful. And they must fit to your own trading strategy. So it makes no sense to, uh, if you have a breakout strategy, to use the RSI. That not make sense. 
or um, you don't need the moving average if you want to make a breakout strategy. That's not interesting. Based on my experience, guys, you should use really less of indicators and oscillators because believe me one thing, and I want to show you what you don't have to do. And now I give you a deep, deep insight of my very, very bad, bad past. Look at this one. <laughs> oh my God. How can they be used together? Guys, please. This is a very, very deep insight in my very, very bad past. Please don't do it. You can see there was a special time. Yes, Vincenzo is absolutely right. That's what the, what, that was the work uh, of Max. Uh, you can see I use the RSI. I use the MACD. Why? It shows me the same. It's a divergent and it's moving averages. And on the screen and the chart, I used, you can see Bollinger Bands. I used the an SMA. I used trend channels. And I missed the candles. With so many things in the chart, you cannot see the price. You cannot see any candles anymore. And of course, you cannot see which trend is the right one, what you have to do. And this is my advice for you guys. Use it really wisely and use less, really, really less of indicators. Only you see they are really helpful for your strategy. If you, if you have a strategy when the 100 is crossing the 50 SMA, then you don't need another indicator such an oscillator or MSCD. Only use this one. Or if you work with overbought, oversold situations, okay, then the MSCD or the RSI is the right one, no more, no less. Or if you work with divergences, it's okay to work with the MSCD. Don't use any more. It's overwhelming for your mind. And I guess, guys, you know, you really, really know how difficult trading is for your mind. You are not made for trading. And we talk about uh, psychology topics in the next month about that. And they show you the way how you can change your life and how can trading be, how can, how can trading be a part of your life. But please don't do this. Don't use too many indicators for your trading. So how can they be used together? Really, it's, it's difficult to answer, get an answer to this. Most of the times, indicators and oscillators show you the similar information. Overbought, oversold situations. Divergences, yes. Or if you are in a, in, a, in a range, or if you're in a move or in a correction, whatever. You should be able to know which of them are support the foundation of trading. That's the sentence. You should be able to know which of them are support the foundation of trading, trend and price. For example, Heikin Ashi and market profile. Oh, here we go. That's really, really interesting. Let me show you this one. Let's go back and let's have a look at this one. So you see, that's the expression of Heikin Ashi. And Heikin Ashi is really, really easy indicator. If you have a big body with a, uh, with a, uh, with, um, a spike, um, uh, with the shadow on the upper or the lower side, you have a trend continuation candle. And if you have a small body with a shadow on the upper and the lower side, it means it's a balanced candle. It means the balance between supply and demand. Therefore, I, uh, I use very often Heikinashi because it's one of the easiest way to see where I am in a trend. If I am in the move with trend continuation candles, or uh, if, if I am at the end of the movement, 
showed by a, by a balanced candle. That's really easy. And I love it to work with Heikinashi because I can see if the, corre if the correction comes to end, then I can see the probability is really high that we will see the next, uh, the next continuation of the trend. And supported here by the market profile. Let me give you this information. This market profile indicator is not, indi is not included in MetaTrader 4 or 5. It's development by me and a partner of mine because I need to know where I am about the price in the market. But if you have, interest, uh, if you have some interesting on it, uh, let me know or try to write an email to Admiral. They will, they will uh, processing it forward to me and I give you the answer about that. So that's the three indicators I use. RSI to figure out divergences, Heikinashi to see if I have trend continuation or if I have the end of the correction and the market profile. The market profile will show you the one and only information, guys. Where is my price? The red line means I have an absolute fair price, the highest volume there. The green line, the green uh, areas shows you the unfair valued price. And this is the behavior of every kind of trading and prices. Prices always go back to the point of control or back to the red zone. And this is the real meaning of the indicators. So what are the really dangers of relying of, of these? The absolutely relying of these. If you rely on them, you are abandoned. And that's always the bad, the worst case. They are not the so-called holy grail. They are not the crystal ball. And they will not show you the future. They only can support you only as a helping tool, guys. That's the only one. Indicator and oscillators, trading strategies. Let me show you this again. One of the easiest trading strategies is trend and the market profile. Either you use it with Heikinashi or maybe you use it with normal candles, doesn't matter. Realize the trend and make sure that you come out of the unfair valued zone, that's the green zones, back to the point of control. You can see it's always a trend. You can make it a little bit clearer or how should I say, uh, smaller, no, not this one. Yeah, this one, maybe you see, oh no, this one, a smaller zigzag indicator. So you can see it's a trend, always movement correction movement correction. You can see always away from the point of control and back. And guys, this is one of the easiest, really very easiest trading strategies ever based on the foundation of every kind of trading price and trend. That's one of the easiest trading and trading setups ever. And you can follow me in a in a lot of other webinars um, about that indicator. Let's make a conclusion, guys. Indicators and oscillators are an overwhelmed trading universe. You know that. You should use them very, very wisely and very less of them. And very few combinations work well together. However, in the correct combination, they can be very helpful like Heikinashi, RSI, divergences, and the price, of course but use them only as really helping tools and not, guys, not the helping, not the holy grail. And now, guys, here comes the surprise. Let me invite you. I have a lot of experience in trading, guys. And I know one of the biggest challenges ever. Now, I'm so grateful. We are a really huge audience this afternoon. Thank you guys, wherever you are around the world. I feel it in my heart. I'm feeling so touched this webinar because so many guys here in this webinar. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But I know the biggest challenges. If we are done with this webinar in Australia, Manfred, greetings to Australia. 
so honored for me. Um, I know one of the biggest challenges now, the webinar is over and you know the information and what then? Now you are sitting in front of your screen, you see the chart, you know the information was Marcus said and what I should do now. And this was my, the, the biggest challenge in my past. How should you ask for it? How can you have communication? Because I'm not always available. I have a webinar once a week here in English. What should I do to the next week? Maybe, is it a signal right now? Is it the right one right now? Is it the right view on it right now? What the heck, how, could I, how can I ask for it? And who gives me the signal? How can I compare my signal to a pro? That's the surprise, guys. We have the solution. We have the solution. Trade up to today with our trading spotlight community. Guys, I'm feeling so happy that we open up to now a new trading spotlight community where you can trade with me. I share my signals. I share my trades with you guys. And if you want to follow my signals, if you want to see how I trade the market, and if you want to ask me something, if you want to have an answer to all your questions, let me know. And I'm absolutely sure my wonderful colleague will share now the link to the new trading spotlight community by Traders Yard with you guys. And now it's the time to open the doors for a new decade of trading, for a new trading experience. And here, don't miss this opportunity in Traders Yard. And I'm feeling really, really honored if you be a part of there, make a, re a registration for it. It's priceless for one month. After this month, you need to have, you need an, uh, a real life account at Admiral Markets to get an access for this trading spotlight community. And also with Paul and also with Jens, all the three of us, we are in that community. And it's a wonderful offer and it's, you can cope this challenge guys. And now it's time, it's time to become successful in trading. You will never be alone in front of your screen. You can ask me, you can see me by a cam if you want and we can work together. You have no more response. You have no more reason to feeling lonely in front of your screen. This is the big surprise and I'm really feeling happy about that. Get support after the webinar when you most need it. You see it here, discuss trading strategies, whatever you can see here with Paul, Jens and me and see how we react to the market. And of course, you will never miss a webinar. Sign it up now, sign it up now guys, with Traders Yard, with the spotlight and here we go for one month only no life account required after this one this month it's um really really uh real account sandra i'm so happy please register register now and now we can trade together if you want to feel it if you want to do it it's not a, i don't force to you for that but it's really really interesting on Friday, my wonderful friend and partner Jens Klatt will inform you how to find the optimal position size, including is there such a thing as an optimal position size? Of course, on Friday, again, same time here, or watch it by YouTube, guys. And with, an hour, with this in our mind, visit Admiral Markets. It was such a great pleasure. Contact us by all this uh, information by mail, YouTube, or this one and with this in our mind thank you thank you thank you very much for being part of this amazing webinar I'm feeling so happy that now I can get in contact with you in traders yard and in our new trading spotlight community guys support my mission support my vision
Let's make and let's change the world. Let's work together. Let us work together on a new uh, behavior of kind of trading. Let's do it together, guys. Come into this group. Let's work with one strategy. Let's work with one, uh, with one direction and with the vision and the mission to share our knowledge and to change the world to a better place. I wish you a wonderful afternoon and be careful about your thoughts because they're the beginning of your actions. Bye-bye.